This video is to show functionality of the reciprocating motion kit for the DHTG rotary indexing table. The sample we are using today is a size 90 uh, with a four uh, position uh, indexing kit for 90 degree uh, toggling. What we have here is I've already converted the unit to the reciprocating motion. Uh, I've added the shock absorber to the opposite side of the uh, pneumatic plate and then also I've added um, the um, proper uh, seals to go in the backing plate here in the front pneumatic plate. Uh, what we've got here is we just have uh, one M8 proc sensor installed in the, lo the cylinder lock uh, location. And then as far as um, uh, valving, what I've got here are Festo part number 11914, which are simply just a 5-2 um, mechanically toggled valve. So you basically have 5 position 2 way, uh, spring return, um, and I'm using both of those for uh, the locking mechanism, which is ports A and B here, and then also to be used for the uh, counterclockwise or clockwise rotation on port C and D. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is, um, if you notice, both switches are in the up position. So um, right now what we've got is we've got air on the system and we've got the condition where this top plate is locked. So if we uh, unlock using this switch here, which is the A and B port switch, I'm going to toggle this switch down. And you probably heard a little exhaust of air. And what that means is now we have unlocked this plate. So this plate actually moves just a tiny little bit. It's unlocked. So now that the plate is unlocked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna toggle this down and you're gonna pay attention to the uh, rotation direction. Notice how it went counterclockwise. So I left the switch down. So now that the stroke has finished, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and relock the cylinder. So now it's locked and I'm going to reset this toggle back to the up position and then I'm going to unlock the cylinder again and then I'm going to toggle this down as we did in the beginning and you'll notice it still moves in the counterclockwise rotation. So again we're going to lock, we're going to reset our uh, position, we're going to unlock and down is counterclockwise. So this time I'm going to lock the pin and this time when I unlock the pin I'm going to toggle this back in the up position and you'll see the rotation go back to clockwise. So we're going to unlock the, uh, the plate and this time we're going to toggle this to the up position and notice we went in the clockwise rotation. So we're going to lock the cylinder, reset the uh, position to down then unlock the cylinder, then back up. Lock the cylinder, reset, unlock the cylinder, clockwise. Let's go back the other direction, we lock, we unlock, and go down. Now we're going counterclockwise again. Lock, reset, unlock, down.